Hello there and welcome to this edition of the Daily 10, your source for entertaining news, celebrities and latest trends. I am your host PNK. Tanzanian gospel sensation Christina Shushu has finally come out clean on what really happened and what ailed her marriage with husband Pastor John Shusho. The Napenda singer who has been silent on her separation admitted she left her marital home citing divine calling as a reason why she decided to split with her hubby. Shusho told Nairobi News that she got a calling from God that required her to leave and pitch her tent somewhere else so that is exactly what she did. She said that she and her husband talked about her spiritual assignment and both decided to leave their marriage deeming it as the right idea. Mother-in-law actor Mustafa, also known as Andrew Murathe, has decided to celebrate his wife Alexandria Harriet Masemo as she turns a year older. The radio man is not only great at acting but also a wonderful family man who adores his own. He went on Facebook and Instagram to share beautiful messages praising his wife for the great change she has made in his life. The actor described her as his makeki and maviti, praying that God increases our wisdom wealth and even health as they continue the journey of love and life together. Well, happy birthday to her. US-based Kenyan doctor David Waigawashida is officially off the market. This is after the doctor, a finance and governance specialist, officiated his union with the love of his life, Cecil Allison. According to Kenya Satellite News Network, the two walked down the aisle on Saturday, June 13th in Texas, USA. The doctor who comes from the Ocarina of Faith and his wife exchanged marital vows in a colorful but very private ceremony attended by close friends and family. Unknown to many, popular entertainer X Dela was a gospel artist before he went into all manner of entertainment crafts. Things changed for him back then and not because he lost relevance, but because the gospel industry itself was stinking rot. Mentioning a few names, X then pointed out the gospel arch enemies Willie Paul and Rington, whose lifestyle since time immemorial were tainted with dark sports. Well, it turns out Willie Paul was an alcohol addict before he recently came out to the public about his controversial lifestyle. Rington Apoko's house in Runda is alleged to have harbored all blends of wine and who had sexual affairs with multiple ladies. Very serious accusations. Former SNL cast member Jay Farrell was jogging down the San Fernando Valley street when multiple LAPD cops pulled their guns on him, ordered him spread eagle on the ground and one of the officers then put his knee on Jay's neck. Jay says all because he matched a vague description of a black suspect wearing grey. Jay posted a video Friday night and say the incident went down approximately one week before Ahmad Abri's murder. He says he was getting exercise, wearing noise cancellation headphones when he saw the cops approach. That must have been scary. Taylor Swift is on a crusade to read her home state of racist statues honoring quote unquote villains and she wants to give them the boot forever. The singer opened up in a big way on Friday, zeroing in on monuments in Nashville celebrating and I quote, racist historical figures who did evil things, end of quote. Taylor says it makes her sick that men like Edward Carmack and Nathan Bedford Forrest are honored with statues in Tennessee. She says they are both despicable figures who should be remembered and treated as such. Marcus Rashford has written a letter to MPs calling for the government to reverse the decision not to extend its food voucher scheme into the summer. The Manchester United forward has raised £20 million for charity fair share to feed 3 million children per week who would otherwise be going hungry during the lockdown. Well, England ace Rashford insists far more needs to be done to help the 1.3 million pupils registered for free school meals and the 22-year-old Ash Boys Johnson and the UK government to reconsider not extending the food voucher scheme. <laughs> Nothing under the sun beats the bond between a father and his daughter. The kind of love that is ordained by God. Well, city pastor Robert Burale found a smart way to pass time with the lovely young Lexi who is his daughter while the two are at home together. The happy duo danced like no one was watching and recorded the beautiful duet so the fans could have a smile after seeing it. Burale and Lexi played a mashup of health CS Mutai Kagwe's words and shook their bodies together like two excited twins. Good for them. Zari Hassan is tired of people linking her to her former boyfriend Diamond Platinums. This is why she decided to address this through her Instagram live session, leaving most of her fans shocked by her sharp mouth. According to the lady, idlers have been spreading lies linking her to Diamond Platinums, which has left her looking like she is begging her way back to the singer's life. 
However, this is totally different from what Zari wants. Zari went on to add that the only reason she is in good terms with Diamond Platinum is because of the kids who are finally happy to have him around. And with that, we come to the end of this edition of the Daily 10. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We're looking forward to your feedback. Make sure to catch me every Monday to Friday from 6.50pm to 7pm. From EPNK here at the Daily 10, it's goodbye.